Good day. So in this uh, in this video, I will demo. I'll just quickly show you how to impose a motion onto a joint. As you can see, we have a four bar linkage here, and uh, yes, so we can see that uh, there are four uh, revolute joints in this model. Uh, using four revolute joints for a four bar linkage uh, will over constrain the model. Uh, there's another sequence that you would use, but in this case, we're not focusing on that. We're just focusing on imposing a motion. So I'm going to impose a motion onto that revolute joint, and I just want it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to create a step function for it, stepping that displacement of that joint uh, through 90 degrees over a specific set of time. Okay, so there's two different ways that we can do it. Um, I'm going to do it with this driver. Uh, at the top here so I can select driver and then it will give me an option between link or joint driver and we're going to create a joint driver um, in this case selecting that joint and then we've got this rotation function that we can specify the joint so I'm going to say I want a function and I want a displacement uh, so then we can go to our uh, this function manager in this case and we can add uh, a new function uh, to to this uh, simulation so I'm going to say new and I'm going to go down to our motion functions you can also use any math functions as are here uh, and they are time dependent um, so we're going to go with motion function and at the bottom here we've got exactly the function that I want which is a step function just double click that step, step function which places the the template for me and uh, in this first case uh, where it says X we're going to type in time the reason for that is this first one is the independent variable so our independent variable is time and that is that is what's, what is ticking along as our motion progresses the first value that we place is uh, X0 X0 is the initial time so I'm just going to start this step at zero time uh, our second value that we specify is H0 which is our first function value our first function value will be zero, zero degrees, and our, the next value we specify is x1, which is our final time for the step function. Our final time we can set to, uh, let's make it four, se four seconds, and our final function value will be 90. Okay, so we can say okay to this, and we can say, you see that it is uh, selected there, we can say okay again. So now we've specified everything we need in here, and we can see that uh, we can also change the name of this driver just for more clarity. I'm just going to leave it as is and you can see there it is created. So now we want to actually solve this uh, problem just to see if it functions the way that we expect. So I can right click the, motion, the simulation, create a new solution. Uh, let's go for 5 seconds and 500 points and I can select OK and I can right click the solution and say solve. So this will solve the solution. As you can see, as I said, the, there will be redundant constraints. We're not looking at that in this case. Um, we're, just, we're just looking at imposing emotion. So we can go to our results and we can play and we can see that everything moves the way it's supposed to in the time that it is supposed to. And that is the how, how we impose a motion. So the other method that we can use to create a motion for this model, I'm just going to delete this container or well, this uh, the driver container. I'm just going to delete this um, driver. Then we can go into this joint. I can right click and edit it. I can go to driver. I can select a function. I can select the displacement. As we can see, our step function is already created from the previous one. I can just select that, say OK, fit, close all the dialog boxes, and I can solve it again. And we can just display it, and we see exactly the same motion occurs. What we can also now do is um, we can just go, we can select that uh, joint. We can see that it has a driver because it's got these arrows. And we can actually plot this just to determine whether the correct um, angle was obtained at the correct time so we can see that joint driver has got a rotation section and we select displacement right click angle say plot and we can see that from zero to four seconds we reach our 90 degree mark and then it just stays there until the end of the simulation 
So this concludes this demo in this section.